The Herald Standard presents the game of the week. Tonight, Laura Highlands travels to Albert Gallatin to take on the Colonials. Both teams led by new head coaches in the newest chapter of this classic rivalry. The AG Colonials began the game with a solid eight yard run by Javon Davis. But a series of unsuccessful running plays forced them to punt to Laurel Highlands. And the Mustangs knew exactly how to handle the Colonial defense, giving quarterback Connor Basinger a clear lane to a first down, deep in AG territory. Practice snap, throw to me, get the defense, five yard penalty, first down. And the Mustangs get a little help, moving the ball all the way down to the five-yard line, where Connor punches it in on a quarterback keeper. Third and two for AG. An errant pass leads to a turnover. Miguel Brumfield grabs it out of the air. In the second, LH takes it downfield once again. Tyler Christopher with the reception and the touchdown run. A missed kick is canceled by a defensive penalty and the Mustangs go for two, which became another miss. It's 13 to zero, the visiting team. Third and 13 for the Colonials and a little miscommunication leads to another Mustang first down on the wrong end of the field. With five seconds left on the clock, LH hits it one more time. Connor to Ryan Fike. The Mustangs take a 19-0 lead into the locker room at halftime. The rampage continues into the third quarter. Connor runs another score into the Colonials end zone, forcing AG to rally before the mercy rule comes into play. AG quarterback Braden Moody runs the ball for a big game. And on fourth and one, Moody steps up again to keep the drive alive. And again on third down, Torrey Robinson moves the chains. A near sack turns into a reception and a long run by Javon Davis for the Colonials' first touchdown of the game. In the fourth quarter, the Mustangs respond, as do the Colonials, with a mighty group effort. Trent Livingston puts this thing to bed for the Mustangs, 39 to 13. I'm here with uh, Laurel Highland senior quarterback, uh, Connor Basinger. Um, Connor, uh, three touchdowns rushing, two touchdowns passing against a rival like Albert Gallatin here at their place. How'd that feel? You know, I was just out there having fun tonight. Uh, I really, I just came into this game with an open mind. Uh, we were a little slow starting out, but we got five yards each play, and we just kept building from there. And uh, we really didn't have many breakaway plays, but like you said, we just kept going and going with our uh, triple option, and it ended up working out at the end. Is that just like a patience thing, where like you don't you don't have to worry about you know you, if, as long as you get five yards a clip or whatever? Well, just... I mean, we're always looking to hit a bigger run. Yeah. But uh, the way the gaps were tonight, you know, we were trying to fill them, and it just ended up being that way, just five yards. And what was the, the call, uh, what was the play action, the, the last play of the first half, that pass? Yeah, so for the touchdown. that really, it wasn't supposed to go there, but yeah. uh, I scrambled and uh, I saw a fight coming around with the drag route, and uh, I just threw it up to him and he made a play. It was a perfect throw, nice catch too. Uh, yeah, it was a great catch, help. great catch by Ryan. Um, okay, thank you, Connor, I appreciate All right, it. thanks. Good All job, right, buddy. Thanks. This is Robert Chaney of the Herald Standard. I'm here with Jake 
just of the Laurel Highlands uh, Mustangs. Uh, what's it feel like to get your first coaching win, a 39-13 win against a rival like Albert Galton here at Albert Galton High School? It's nice to get a win for the first win of the season. You know, obviously it's my first win of the coaching career, but I'm happy for these guys to get their first win. They worked hard all summer for it. They earned it, and now we have Death Row coming up with Montour, Greensburg, and Bell Vernon back to back to back. <laughs> yeah, tough schedule coming up. Um, about this game, uh, it seemed like a methodical game. Like you didn't have a lot of huge plays, but you were really methodical. That's the way I saw it. Is that how you saw it on? Yeah, Monta? that's not our offense. Our offense is built to run the option. We take what's given to us. Connor does a good job taking everything that's given to him. He ran the offense to a tee tonight. I don't believe we turn the ball over, and we come out with the win. That's the goal every week, to not turn the ball over and get a win. Um, the, the, I thought a key play was you're up 12 nothing late in the half. There's only four seconds left. I thought you might try a field goal, but you didn't. You went for a, a play, and you hit a pass in the end zone uh, in, for a touchdown. Uh, to, um, was it Christopher? Uh, or, or Ryan that Fike. Fike, yeah. Fike, that was the second one. Well, we would have kicked the field goal. We have no field goal kicker right now. The one we had to send home from school today, he was ill. Our backup kicker took a hit on the shin, and we had not repped anybody else there, so we had to go for it. We wanted to burn a timeout on the run play. We didn't run it. Connor made a good throw. Ryan made a good catch, and it was huge momentum going into halftime. Yeah, I thought your defense played pretty well, too. Uh, uh, you controlled them for the most part. We did. We made a lot of mistakes. We ran that tackle over play. We caught it down all week where they kick out our end, and they run the A back up through the C gap. We did a bad job all week preparing for it. They ran it to a T tonight on us. We did a bad job defending it, and the fumble was a mistake on their part. We didn't do anything great there. We have to get better on defensively this week. Um, how much improvement did you see from week one to week two, though? Because I know you were talking about We'll have to it. watch the film. I think we still made some mistakes. We're down two starters right now. We have one suspended, one sick. We need to get healthy and reevaluate everybody. It's an open competition every week for us, so nobody has a job as of right now. we got to go back to the drawing board. Okay, thank you, Jake. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, I'm here with uh, first-year Albert Gallon coach uh, Drew Dindle after a 39-13 loss to uh, Laurel Hollins. Uh, Drew, it seemed like uh, your defense, it, it didn't let, allow a lot of big plays, but it, it seemed like they were kind of methodical on you. Right. And we talked a little bit earlier about that triple option, man. They, they just, you know, chew you up, chew you up. And we, we kind of figured it out towards the end, but it was like too late. It was too late. Damage was already done. Uh, what's it like, like facing an offense that you sort of run yourself? Uh, it's fine. I love the triple option, and, and Coach Just does a great job. You can tell they've been doing it for a while now. So I mean, it's just it's, it's a fun environment. But yeah, going against it's a little tougher than running. It. It's 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 frustrating for the kids. I know it takes a while to get get an offense like that going, and your team's still still learning it. But uh, you did have some bright spots. You had a nice touchdown mm -hmm. pass from uh, uh, Braden Moody to uh, Javon uh, Davis. Right. I think it was right. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that play and a couple of the you know the plays you hit. I know you hit an, you had another nice drive mm -hmm. where where Moody drove in the end zone and got a touchdown. They got they got real aggressive. Uh, you know they want to stop the veer, stop the midline. So we, we knew the the screen would be good on the backside. So we just waited to set it up a little bit. And Javon's a great athlete. He, he did what he had to do with it and got in the end zone. How's Moody coming along here? It's just his second game now running that running this offense. He's, I mean, I can't complain with him. He's not going to be perfect. No, no quarterback is. They're going to miss some reads and and veers on veers and midlines. But uh, we're ju we're just we're just new. We're trying to figure it out, and he's coming along. It's only game two, so I can't really, you know, complain with how he's been so far. Uh, I was talking with them too about the the last play mm -hmm. of the first half when they get a touchdown pass. I thought if you went in at halftime down 12 nothing, right. that was kind of with a defensive standard. That would have been how big was that play? That uh, that, that uh, you know we had a little bit of momentum. We were we were coming up and playing a little bit physical, and yeah, if we could have got that stop and took the momentum back in the locker room with us, it, it might have helped out. But yeah, a play like that at the end kind of shoots you in the foot. Okay, what'd you tell kids after the game? Hey, this wasn't going to happen overnight. It's still early in the season. We just got to keep grinding. We got to keep our focus and, and get better. That's all we can do. Okay. Thank you, Drew. Hey, thank you.